taken back by the responses we've had mm. and a lot of people have really enjoyed basically the crime aspect and the yeah. mystery aspect the mystery and I mean, solving and solving we can't solve nothing no it's the investigation part of it though yeah and it, and it kind of gives us something to do <laughs> <laughs> But um, yeah, if you could subscribe, like, and share, that would be amazing. We're trying to get more and more followers and more and more subscribers. So we can do more and more things. Yeah. I mean, at the moment, obviously, we're doing it off our own back when we have time. But obviously, if we get more and more, we will then venture off more, do more things outside. Mm. You know, most of this channel has been like a test run to see what works and what doesn't. Mm. And the Unsettled has worked. Mm. Whether it was due to... The categories of what we picked mm. or whether it was more <coughs> focused yeah we're just sticking to one topic yeah um but yeah uh thanks for tuning in yeah again mm. and as i said before this is episode nine and we're going to be discussing and trying to work out mm. the arizona phoenix lights and i don't know are you an a do you believe in aliens is aliens up there with you and ghosts? Because I feel like you really hug the ghosts, and then when it comes to aliens, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> like you kind of just dismiss it. Well, <clears throat> it's the thing of like seeing is believing, really. Mm. Um, I've seen aspirations. I've seen things that you can't explain. Yeah, but I don't know. I d it's it hasn't occurred to me that you know I'm a firm believer, but we're not alone. You know, it's. There's millions and millions of galaxies. They, they, um, like, you you yeah. can talk about your galaxies. You can talk about your planets. You can talk about your rockets and your stars <laughs> and your spaceships. No, but there are, whether you like to believe or not, there are thousands of galaxies, not even millions of galaxies, that we just don't know what exists in them we're only scratching the surface like we're only about one percent of what we can understand yeah right and i feel that even if we did seem to come up with any type of conclusion for how things work or how it doesn't work i feel that we're often fed lies or it's yeah, a quick cover-up or there's too much information <clears throat> um that maybe doesn't lead you in the right direction yeah and then when you later on finally find out something, you're like, oh shit, maybe that did happen. Mm. You're kind of like, oh, okay. You, just, you can't explain it. You can't. And I like the idea of this channel being that kind of unexplained, mm. homing in style type of channel where we try and mm. not necessarily debunk it. No, but we analyse it in different ways. And then we see um, from other people's point of view how it kind of works. Yeah. But so far we've kind of like, I don't know, I feel like we've become good crime investigators. It's getting easier. It is. <laughs> I can't admit, it's getting easier. And right? I feel that with this one, with the Phoenix Lights that happened in Arizona, I mm. feel that you are going to throw everything at me and I'm going to possibly have an answer for it. I'm going to look at you and be like, look, aliens are more plausible at existing than what ghosts are. Mm. But then you're just going to end up hating me by the end of this anyway. <laughs> we shall see. Okay. So let's set this off. So basically, the skies of Arizona... Uh, I guess they, they, they saw some lights in the sky. So we're going to now clock into the events, mm -hmm. come up with a couple of theories, and then go into our discussion of whether, yet again, we think aliens do exist, or whether this was one big cover-up. Mm. I mean, to me, I don't know how many people out there would know about the Arizona lights or the Phoenix lights that happened. Mm. But Well, it spread between Arizona and some parts of New Mexico, mm -hmm. or sorry, Mexico, um, and quite a few states in between. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of like it's one of those phenomena that a lot of people see. And you can't hide something which loads of people have seen. No. 
Uh, even if the government can't do it either. But let's delve in. Let's dig deep. I don't know how juicy this is going to be. I know you like it juicy. <laughs> <laughs> so you do. <laughs> <laughs> so thousands of people saw something mm-hmm. on the night of March 13th, 1997. Whatever they saw was a bit weird. But I was nine years old, so that would have made you what? Uh, I was seven. Oh, you were seven year old. Mm, yeah. Oh, I was nine, and I remember it was broadcasted across quite a few channels. I, w- I vaguely saw. remember something, but not. Yeah. I mean, I guess the Phoenix Lights are almost the holy grail of aliens. Yeah. I mean, that's what I would put it down to. I'd put it down as this is a holy grail. Compared to like Area 51 and other little things, and obviously the Roswell crash, this one, thousands of people have seen, mm-hmm. and they can't mistake what their eyes have witnessed. No. So to me, it's like, oh, okay. You know, it, it could have been could have been something else. But uh, it makes it more believable due to the witnesses. Yeah. And the witnesses, the, 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 the amount of witnesses. Yeah. That's, the, that's what... <laughs> I mean, what I made... think that's what highlighted it for me. I mean, what makes this more funny is the fact the National UFO Reporting Centre had thousands of calls. See, why don't we have anything like that in the UK? Can you imagine the UK's National (laughs) UFO Calling Centre? If it's anything... I mean, you'd be on the phone for about eight hours and finally talk to someone and you won't understand them. They'll probably be in the desert somewhere. (laughs) (laughs) That's pretty much how it works, right? (laughs) Well, if there's anything like the rest of our leaders in this country, they <laughs> couldn't organise a piss up in a brewery. This is my point. It, it just wouldn't work. <laughs> Where did you find it? Sorry, hold for the operator. Um, no, what? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was shown in the UK as strange lights in the sky. Yeah. I mean, that's what I vaguely kind of remember, was mm-hmm. some strange lights happened in Arizona that no one could explain. Mm-hmm. And to me, that's kind of fascinating in itself. Because, like I said, yeah, again, you have witnesses. It's not one person's no. account. It's witnesses. No. So this is what kind of makes me think that, okay, maybe this is kind of believable. Mm. So they said the first call came in at 18, 8.16 p.m. <coughs> this is when the lights appeared. But it was called in by a retired police officer from the town called Polden. I think that's correct. Two hours from Phoenix. Yeah. Which already says to me these lights were very visible. Yeah, they were they were prominent in certain states. Yeah, you could so, see you could see the colour. Yeah, so to me it's like okay, so if loads of people saw this, including the retired police officer, he's mm. not gonna lie. He's like you he wouldn't probably, expect so. He's no. called up the UFO hotline and been like, oh hey, I see some lights. <laughs> <laughs> sort it out. <laughs> so to me, I'm like, oh wow, okay. Mm. So that that's that's an accountable person right there. Yeah. I mean, to some extent. It you, you, would, you would imagine a retired police yeah. officer as being a very reliable witness. Yeah. He said it was a cluster of red and orange lights in a V formation. Then the cent- then the call centre got a flood of calls from South Polden. Um, 404 at this point. Mm. So that's 404 people calling Within up. Within the hour. Yeah, are calling up, basically saying, hey, there's some lights in the sky. Can someone sort it out, please? So this suggests the lights were moving in a southeastern direction from looking at it uh, with a compass or map. Yeah. So if you look at it, it's literally moving in a southeast direction. So it was so moving. Bottom right. Yeah, so it was moving. It wasn't like they were in the air flickering. No. Will. <laughs> I guess 700, 700 witnesses said this flying V formation of lights were intact. Mm-hmm. So at this point, you've got 700 witnesses say that there was it was moving in a solid formation yeah uh these also included pilots police officers and military officials the lights can be described as orbs while others said triangles then others said a large singular aircraft was behind it and it was dead silent so what are your thoughts on this mm. a singular aircraft and lights like say the aircraft lights mm. underneath it it's kind of like it's should we say scanning it's flying and scanning. Mm. <coughs> or finding somewhere to land. Which would then make Which it would be the Arizona Desert. Because yeah. it's large, it's flat. Right, yeah. Mm, yeah. I mean, it's still, I'm still curious about what they saw. Mm. I mean, to me, I'm thinking like they saw a triangle formation of lights. Mm. And it was moving in the southeastern direction. And... Mm. You're looking at it like, whoa, okay, this is pretty weird. Mm. 
you still baffled at this? Come on, this is the Holy Grail. <laughs> this is aliens, dude. This is aliens. Alright. 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 One guy, Terry Proctor, recorded the event. <laughs> I'm sure if you were to look up this chap, you mm -hmm. can watch the video. I might show you the video after this. Mm -hmm. But you can actually see the video. It is grainy and it's low quality because it was 1997, which yeah. wasn't that far ago. No, but it was still a great. I mean, what what phone did you have in 1997? Exactly. I don't have one. Exactly. But it but is. Like, it's the Ericsson, Sony Ericsson. Which would have been grainy if you're shooting a nice mm, guy. The Nokia 3330 or 3310. But it is visible that five lights were in a pattern, a V pattern. Mm. The V pattern is very important. Mm -hmm. <coughs> 10 p.m. a second set of lights appeared. As many as nine lights appeared in the sky. This wasn't a set of five, this is now a set of nine. Mm. Okay. I think someone's been having way too many bourbons. <laughs> How many was there? There was nine. <laughs> I mean, it's... I'm curious by the V pattern. Mm, yeah, I'm curious about the that v pattern. That pattern is very it's... prominent to me. It was out of the ordinary. It's not like it's like, a circle. Yeah, and it's not like it's a drop, 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 drop. It is a V, a perfect V formation, mm. which you can't get. No. Are you curious? This is the question. Are you curious? I am curious. But it was in the same spot. So at 10 o'clock, obviously, the second set of lights appeared and it was in the same spot. Mm. Bearing in mind it was in the same spot. Mm. So, it's unsure if the lights at 10pm are the same as the 7pm ones, but, but it was the same formation. So first set appears, then later on another set. I bet people were like, is this the end of the world? Mm. Like, everyone that lived in Arizona at that point was probably like, oh wow, this is bad. Oh, there's a second one. Yeah. I mean, it was probably like an end of the world scenario. I bet loads of people were out there just trying to like figure out what it was. Mm. I mean, if something like that happened in the UK and we saw it and we were all in our back gardens just looking like, what the... <coughs> mm. I mean, we would be pretty curious at this point. Oh yeah, but then we would we would take torches out. We would... I mean, right now we've got the technology to possibly zoom in and have a good old look and see what it is. Yeah. But, but it's not normal, really. No. Uh, one could have been real, the other something else. It seems strange. 7pm lights and 10pm more lights. Like, maybe one was an accident, so they did another cover-up with another set of lights. <coughs> mm. You're now quite curious on this, aren't you? Mm. Um. It seems funny that another set of lights appears just after. That, that does seem a bit too... Mm. A bit too coincidental to my liking. Mm -hmm. So, a gentleman witnessed a craft from his yard. He said, you can see an outline like it was in a cloud, but the rest of the lights were so bright, like the back part of whatever they were seeing was like a black shadow. Mm. So to me, I'm like, okay. So others said it seemed like it was a triangle which was blocking out the stars. Yeah. <laughs> it's... Mm. Oh, no, 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 go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> but it looked like, okay, so if we were to get onto a quick theory, it was like a Christmas light in terms of that and the fact that it didn't leap light. It was a pure solid formation. Yeah, that's the weird part. So if it was like a, should we say a flare? It would be you a would have, you would have a you'd have light ex it. yeah you'd have light exposure mm. right people said no <clears throat> the light and the formation was consistent mm. as you thought it was flares air traffic controllers couldn't see them on the radar but they could in the sky so they didn't appear on the radar mm -hmm. but they appeared in the sky yeah but back then we had stealth technology yeah uh, planes. Flying objects spotted, but not in this formation. So mm. there was no plane. So they could find planes and other flying objects mm. in terms of like, you know, missiles or whatever. Yeah. But they couldn't find this formation. Reports say the spacecraft was enormous. 
no sound, move slowly, would stop for a while, then slowly move again. Mm -hmm. Now, if this was flares, they wouldn't just stop. No. Right. <laughs> I will just say her first name, but she is a doctor. Um, Dr. Lin said they said they was over a mile away. She drove under them into the V formation. It was like she was entering part of where she was flying into her home. So as she was going into her home, she entered the V formation. Mm. Right Underneath was a yellow amber. So she literally went under it. Mm. So she flew into the V formation that was like a yellow amber underneath. So she was actually underneath it. <coughs> mm. you, you're still unsure on this, aren't you? Videos of a second event show flashes of these lights. Computer ana uh, analysis puts the object at 6,000 uh, 6, feet long. Mm. So that's use of a video on the computer analysing which they saw. Yeah. Okay, to me that says... They that's from light to light, from yeah. light and then... Yeah, to okay. me that says they watched a lot of footage of the second event to figure out how it was going with the first event. So they're, ex mm. they're kind of saying that this triangle was 6,000 feet long. Mm. Military? They do shady shit. They do shady shit. Like, they do do shady shit. They do. Or was it actually a UFO? Well... Here's the other weirdest thing, right? So some people think the lights was just on one craft, while others think it was seven or nine yeah, different crafts. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So it was either individual crafts as well. That would explain for the length. Like individual, it would explain, individual yeah. planes in a in a formation. <clears throat> Even people who didn't believe in UFOs until that day, after that day, they now do. They said. They said. Uh, you can when you see shit with your own eyes, you you often then start to believe it. Mm. But I'm on the fence. You process it. I'm on the fence. It's the Phoenix Lights. I mean, it's a worldwide event. Mm. Now it is, which then to me makes it a bit more, a bit more believable. <coughs> yeah. But then it's right. One witness named Bill saw two lights floating, just an hour well, floating an hour away from the military airbase. The lights then would chase the two military planes that were sent out. Mm. So they sent military planes out to see what it was. Yeah. And the lights followed the military planes. He didn't believe in UFOs until now. He also says, we saw something, I saw something, so why don't the government admit it? <laughs> but he's, he's quite brave calling out the government. Well, yeah, definitely, I know. I mean, he's brave. <laughs> he's basically saying that we all saw something, they're asking the government, what is it? Mm. What did we see? But to me, it's like, okay. Mm. He saw two flashing lights follow a military plane. Yeah, but then... I'll divulge a little bit of that, that in my theory later on. Okay, okay. He also goes on to say, you know what it's like right now? It's like the whole town saw it, but the government say, no, you didn't. Why are they hiding it and denying it? No, I can I can associate with that. That's to me. That's yeah. So May the sixth, nineteen ninety seven, a councilwoman asked members of the city council if any investigations was going to happen with this, mm. or if they knew what it was. She never got a response. After the meeting, a member of the committee said, "You shouldn't have asked that question." Then they began to mock her and bullied her and claims she believed in aliens. Mm. Why would they mock someone of a committee? And why did no one answer it? That was the other weird thing. Mm. Despite this, she received phone calls from witnesses. The case went unknown until June the 18th, 1997, where it was published and put into the spotlight in the newspapers. Mm. So it took them that long to then go, oh, hang on, hang on, yeah. there's, people, there's people talking. Okay, the paper stated on March the 13th, hundreds of people witnessed lights and a large object in the sky. Uh, it's the most con co uh, confounding UFO report in so many years. Mm. But it took them that long to put it in the papers. Well, they've got to come up with something. They've got to come up with a story, a response, right? response, yeah. 
No government is investigating and still to no explanation. They still haven't come forward to say what it was. Mm-hmm. So no coverage until now. It makes yeah. no sense. It made news and then it was swept under the rug very quickly. It seems odd. It does seem odd. It does seem very odd. Um, and the fact that they waited like three months mm. and then managed to put a story together. I mean, can you imagine the whole town of Arizona going, we saw something there, we're going, no, you didn't. Like the government going, no, you didn't, you didn't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Classic cover up. <laughs> so basically, there was a gentleman, he held a press conference and claimed he knew who was responsible and brought out a guy in an alien costume. <laughs> he mocked the whole event. But this guy worked, was in the government, basically. Yeah. So we say a government official, he held a press conference and claimed he knew who was responsible and brought out a guy in an alien costume. Oh. <laughs> I hope that bloke in the alien costume can run quick. If you can't, the whole so, state of Arizona after you. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, he was mocking the event, but he did publicly say he saw the craft, and as a former pilot and aircraft officer, he definitely said it was nothing that he had ever witnessed before. And yeah, was, if I remember rightly, he said it was unworldly. Yeah, and wasn't made aware of anything of such that. And he also put it down to saying it wasn't flares and it was a perfect V formation. It was without a doubt a UFO. Hmm. It's coming from a pilot. Hmm. But if we if we skim this hmm. and take it back, yeah, the definition of UFO is mm-hmm. unidentified flying object. Mm. Yeah. So it's not necessarily like as soon as someone says UFO, yeah, you would instantly jump. You think to flying alien. saucer? You would yeah, instantly yeah. jump to alien. Okay, right. Yeah, he, he did say it, it was definitely a UFO. Mm. Right. So it kind of rules out the whole flare part. Yeah. If there's someone who's a pilot going that that ain't no flare, and that's not a yeah. flare drop. So basically, he inquired about the flying object, but no one ever got back to him, even though he works for the government. He works for the government and no one got back to him with an answer. See, to me that seems odd. Mm. And if a governor, oh sorry, he was a governor, if a governor cannot get an answer, I doubt the people ever would. <coughs> That's true, right? That is true. That is very true. So to me it's like, what are they hiding? Mm. And why is it loads of people saw this V formation and then there was like a mockery one afterwards? Mm. Like I said to you, I bet the military were like, we don't know what that is, but send out, send out flares. Please do something. So the 10 p.m. one, I was like, no, nah, don't, don't like it. But this one, this one, I'm kind of like, oh, hello, it's a bit weird. Yeah, the, the second set of lights yeah. sound like a cover-up for the first set. Definitely. Yeah, that's that's what I was pretty much coming to. So I go with the theories now, I yeah, guess. Yeah. There we go with the theories. So first is by the Air Force saying the lights were flares dropped for a training exercise. They said it was dropped over Goldwater Range, Arizona, although it stated um, this aircraft base at the time and day it happened, they had no planes in the air. So mm. bear that one in mind. They had no planes or anything else in the air. Yeah. Uh, as they openly said to the air traffic controllers when they were asked about it, there was no planes, nothing in the air, but they clearly said that they dropped flares. So why are they lying? Why is it taking them so long? <laughs> they did do another flare drop and it was similar to the V formation only one detail though is like I said you won't know until now is that the flare drop was at 10pm so what was the first set of lights at 8 mm. exactly see that's, that's mm. it's a cover up it's a cover up <laughs> like even the time difference and also the second and the scales set- and it wouldn't amount for 2 hours no and also, the second set of lights were flashing in the sky. Flickering, dare I say. But that's, like I said, doesn't explain the first one. It doesn't explain the triangle shadow. I mean, some woman even quoted, it was it was as big as a supermarket flying over her house. Mm. So I'm like, shit, that's massive. Mm. Like, in terms of that, that's massive. Mm. But, yeah, there was no planes on the first sighting. So like I said, it's a cover-up. Mm. It's a cover-up. Theory two is actual UFO events. The flares move erratically when dropped. Um, so basically, it was a special effects expert. Um, they're in too much of a perfect form. The light has no variation, no glow. It wasn't lasers, flares, holograms, or aircraft such as planes or a big craft. 
So that's what he said. He was a special effects expert in movies, and he said no. He said that flares and everything else would be different. Mm. But then who are we to say what classified material that they've got? It's the military. They do shady shit. Mm. Admit it, they do. They, they do. They're fucking shady shit. They do. So everywhere. much everywhere, like military everywhere, does shady shit. I will say this: on March the fourteenth, at nine in nineteen ninety-seven, an airman spoke um, about having a large flying object almost crash into a plane that night. Mm. I don't think aliens do. Also, I found out in December two thousand and seventeen, the na- uh, the nation of the UFOs. Oh, the USA's department spent 22 million of their annual 600 billion budget on more advanced aerospace threat detection. Why would they need to do that if they don't believe in aliens or UFOs? Because they've got to be seen to do something. <laughs> Is that what you think? Oh dear. They admitted that for years... How do you think they're going to pay for their lunches every goddamn day? That's true. I suppose that's true. They admitted that for years... Years on end, they had been investigating UFOs all around the world. So even you've they're admitting to, it. Yes, but you've got to be seen to doing <sighs> something. Oh, I do. Like you can, you can happily say you don't have to investigate every single UFO sighting, and you can still say, "Oh yeah, I've looked into all of them." Well, yeah, I suppose. I suppose. I don't know. Uh-huh. Doesn't leave me fishing. I, I just thought because like, I don't know. Mm. maybe there's been so many reports worldwide. <laughs> That mm. UFOs and aliens, like, I guess they exist. It's it's the Roswell experience all over again. Yeah. Maybe we should delve into that. Cause that Maybe is, we should. That is really interesting. Um, but also, the people that work in the Pentagon and the USA admitted they do investigate UFOs and deal with it accordingly. This also kind of... Yeah, that's suspicious. They deal with it accordingly. Accordingly. This is where they send the FBI out, mate, and they get rid of people that have seen UFOs. Or they do that brainwashing technique, trust me. I told you, go and do shady shit. What? <laughs> may, may I also add, though, there is like a little piece of hidden information about these Phoenix lights. Like, I was reading through loads and loads of people's experiences Accounts. seeing them. Yeah, seeing them. And during the time of the Phoenix lights, the 8 o'clock ones, um, people actually went missing soon after. And to me, I'm like, okay. Like, if everyone saw these lights and they were, like, beaming them up one by one, like, you'd see people flying through the air if this is how we believe aliens exist. But still, a lot of people went missing when when this event took place at 8 o'clock. Mm. Or 8.16, to be precise. So to me, I'm thinking, like, there's a lot of stuff a bit crazy with this. Like, if you have a governor that says, yes, he saw it, he saw the triangle, he saw the lights. But technically can't comment on anything. But he's not, he's asked for information and no one gives it to him. Like I said, what luck have the people of Arizona <coughs> actually got in finding out what happened? Because the government basically said to them, you didn't see anything. Mm. And they're saying, no, no, we definitely did. And then they're like, yeah, it was flares. Stop it. It's like they're saying, just stop. Mm. But then that governor, to make a mockery of it, bring out an alien... But also during that saying it was a UFO, he'd never seen anything like it before. Mm -hmm. He mocked it because I felt like he probably had to. Because everyone saw the lights and instantly thought, aliens! So he was like, I'm going to bring out this little alien person wearing a mask. And try and quieten it down a bit. Yeah, try and quieten it down and be like, look, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I know what we saw, but they won't tell us. That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So what did you actually think? (sighs) It's... Well, going back to, like, as you said, the, the say, the 10 o'clock one. Yeah. Uh, it was actually confirmed mm-hmm. uh, a few years later the uh, by the Air Force. Yeah. Um, they couldn't, what they've stated is they couldn't, basically, they were doing manoeuvres at two sets of times. Mm. Um, they couldn't divulge the information of the first because it was a new technology it was the stealth technology back then okay so where we have like stealth bombers which the and stealth planes and stealth off, planes yeah. the wingspans of the stealth bombers back then yeah would have been consistent yeah and if they had a single light source underneath them like a searchlight yeah um not necessarily 
I'm, I'm with you. I'm full on board. No, I mean like this, this, this is sense. this is what like, I mean, like this I, is one of the things that like I've I actually keep, found. Like I keep saying, the government do shady shit. They if do. They, if they, they are hiding technology, if they are hiding aliens or anything else, they'd hide it. Oh yeah, they would hide it and they'd make many billion stories of a cover up. Mm. They, would, they would. They would make the stories themselves. Yeah, but then how many people have actually come forward, e.g., presidents, that have said UFOs do live among us, like aliens are here. Mm-hmm. I mean, we even had that fucking twat. I can't remember his name, not Boris, but the other twat. Yeah. He even said that aliens existed. Mm. But then he also said that aliens existed around us all the time because they're dogs, cats, pets. Yeah, that, that was kind of my theory. Mm. I mean, for me, if I was in Arizona and I, see the, I saw these lights, I don't know whether I'd believe it was necessarily aliens. I mean, I'm more of a conspiracy theorist, so I would be like, the government's doing something weird. Mm. That's that would be my that would that would be what I would yeah like, jump straight to I mean I wouldn't jump straight to aliens I wouldn't necessarily say aliens I would be like the government's up to something because yeah. I am all against the government <laughs> so anything shady shit well, I think we've gathered in the podcast and stuff the conspiracy wise it will go yeah. on to it yeah mm. um, it was also uh, one of the witnesses that was well stated that they were pretty close yeah um, it it felt like. A gust of wind mm-hmm. was passing by, but more in a curtain. Yeah, and it was quiet. Yeah, that's pretty much what I found was the fact it was quiet. Mm. Whatever was. But the thing is, you've got stealth planes today, which they can go overhead and you wouldn't hear them. You wouldn't hear them until pretty much they were so many miles away. Yeah, and then, and then, then you'd hear them. <laughs> yeah, we did on them. But then it wouldn't if so, if loads of people and then go running into the house and talking yeah, about yeah, yeah. it, they wouldn't hear that after effect. They no, wouldn't no, hear no, that, I'm with you. They I'm wouldn't with hear that sound yeah. bubble. Yeah. Or sound wave. Yeah. Um. So that everyone was like, "Oh, it's it's definitely a cover up for the new stealth technology." Could well be. Now, I found an amateur astronomer. Okay. Uh, who was just so happened to be looking at the lights through Is this the a telescope? guy with a really powerful telescope? Yeah. I was going to add him in, but he sounded really weird. <laughs> because, like, he, he was did. with his mother. Yes, he, he, he lived with his mother. And... and as, in her basement. I'm not, not going to say as many <laughs> astronomers did, but... <laughs> He had a very big telescope. He he had a very, and he used to play with it. I bet he did. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, they're really creepy. But no, they? he was... So his mother basically came and said, oh, there's, there's lights and everything outside. <laughs> so he's obviously run upstairs. Grabbed his humongous telescope. Ran no, out it was already set it it was set in the attic anyway pointing out the window. Can you imagine them both holding hands, looking out at the stars, just going, this is a wonderful moment. No. I didn't include him because he sounds fucking weird. He, he was upstairs, he was looking through, and he was on the phone to... Um, oh, the UFO call centre that I wish the UK had. I'd called it up all no, the time. He, he was actually on the phone to um, the uh, international thing. Yeah. Like the hub of, mm. like, all the astronomers. Yeah. From confirmed planets and sightings and stuff, and yeah, so he was quoted, and they have the phone recording, yeah, of him going, "They are planes, but they are not human built." Oh, oh, it digs deeper. It's like they are planes, but it's technology that he hadn't seen. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's something that's a bit like, different. So, technically, it is a it's as he quoted alien technology, not necessarily the alien from another world technology, but alien as in sense of he's never seen it before. So, it's new, it's, it's new. But the word, but when the you throw word the way, when you throw the word alien around, you're like alien technology. Yeah. Oh, okay. You instantly think you what? think teleportation. You think, you think, you think what everything. aliens? What have aliens got? Yeah. I mean, I mean, if me and you were there, mm-hmm. right? If we were in Arizona and I was like my little nine-year-old self or however old I was, and I was looking up at the sky and like I saw a 
I genuinely think, as a child, I'd be like, wow, it's a UFO. Yeah, I would, from as the age of seven, I'd be like, oh, wow, okay. I mean, either that or I was going to die. I mean, there's probably like, yeah. probably I don't like, like in the house, probably like the <laughs> War of the Worlds music going on in the background, like boom, 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 boom. I'd be like, it's like oh, I'm again, oh god. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I'd be panicking, but mm. as I've dug into this, it seems weird that, like I said, the government will spend so much on threat detection mm. to make it look like they're, well, you said doing something, but why would you need to do something if you didn't think it existed in the first place? Yeah. No, and if it's this is where to, it comes to. A very weird part. Okay. Oh, you say weird. Maybe well, it's is... it's more of um, a thing that it's basically, as I said, two years later, mm -hmm. or a year and a half later, the military come forward and said, look, we couldn't divulge the information at the time because yeah. it was a classified m mm -hmm. mission. We were testing out some new technology that we was dropping flares. No, 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 no. We was dropping flares... In a single stream air jet. Okay. So basically, it's weird. So it's like, I had a look at a picture. It's very weird. It's a flare mm -hmm. inside a bubble. Okay. So that you wouldn't get the air resistance. Okay. So it would fall naturally, but yeah. they would stay where they dropped. Okay. They were affected by wind. Okay. But not to the degree that we saw. Okay, but now I'm going to ask you something. But then we don't know the jet streams and the air streams. Yeah, yeah, of I the mean, area. there is, like I said, it's a lot of shady shit. Yeah. It's a lot of shady shit, but that still doesn't account for that triangle that flew following the streams. That's the weird part. Yeah. They've I mean, said, look, if, if okay, they were... hands up, we've done a classified mission, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, blah. I mean, we're testing out new technology. I mean, that's, that's what that's not, what chased the airplanes. Not gonna lie, I mean, the second 10 p.m. light that probably was a that probably mission. was the classified mission. But mm -hmm. that whatever was the, well, whatever, whatever dropped at 10 yeah. was something that was looking for something at eight or six or whatever time it was. Mm, eight. So they saw something at eight, and then they thought, "Fuck it, we'll send this out and see what it was." Mm. So maybe there is, maybe there is a. Aspect Maybe of, there's alien technology, then there's, should we say, the USA's alien technology. Maybe they've learnt stuff over the oh, years. Over the, over the crashes. Mm. And they're testing out this new stealth but we technology. Still don't know. But we, it's, we don't know. It's crazy. That's the thing, we don't know. And I'm going to throw this one in, just because it's a bit of a laugh. Go on then. But one Ooh. gentleman came forward, <laughs> and... <laughs> I called him a gentleman, it's probably a hillbilly. But he right. came forward and he was he basically said that it was aliens mm. for definite. I believe him already. They were they he said he couldn't explain why they would drop flares over the desert. Makes sense. Because it was pretty close to a town. It was close to Arizona. Mm. Why would they drop flares? Why would they with drop the flares with the potential of setting thing setting things on fire? Exactly. He said you would you would technically do it over the Arizona desert. You would. You wouldn't do it over a town. That's just setting up something. Yeah. And it attracts a lot of attention like this. Like this. Right. Go ahead. But then he he kind of was like, so I was I was on board with this. So you thought at this point. Okay. I was like, I don't know, that makes sense. Why would you drop it there? Why would you drop it there? Like it, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah. But then he goes on and ruins his whole statement. See, I like his chap already because he believes in aliens. Aliens are more believable than ghosts. He then, but, he then went on to state that, oh, maybe they dropped the flares so that big V-shaped ship could land in the fucking desert. So it was like an indication. It was like, okay, there's the edge of the town, land just past it. And you're like, you've ruined it. Well, yeah. You've ruined your whole believable statement with, it's a landing strip. It could well be. Because V is a perfect arrow shape yep. to say, and over there. That's true. Could be. Or, if we weren't going to go that route, it could have actually been the lights from under an aircraft. Yes. Now, we all know. You say we all know. No, we all do oh. know. In a low flying aircraft, mm -hmm. 
say that there was mist rolling in. Yep. But it was what they call a high jet stream. Okay. So, basically high flying clouds. Yep. Like, you're running, say, five or six aircraft okay. in formation, okay. which people do. Yeah. Following the southeasterly jet stream. Okay. There's cloud underneath, so there's cloud cover. Yeah. You're in the new stealth jet fighter. Okay, you're not really going to get noticed by much. No. Oh, maybe I'm on board. Underneath, all you can hear is wind blowing. Yeah. Like, as they're going over or whatever. Yeah. Now, we've got jump jets that can slow right down. Okay. They were actually manufactured in 1999. Mm-hmm. And they were released to the public in 2000. A part of me thinks I'm going to hate your theory, but go ahead. <laughs> Probably. Um... They had to have prototypes for these jump jets. Now, the stealth... So you're saying is, that Arizona, is a jump jet. You're saying the Phoenix Lights was a prototype for a jump for jet. For the stealth jump jet. Is that what you're thinking? Mm. Is a, how would... How, apart from the UFO and the alien part, how would you explain a perfect formation? Unless you're trained years in a classified mission... But then, I'm open to anything. Okay. Mm. But no, how would you explain it? I thought I had aliens. Mm. It's because now we're just gone. But is that not plausible? It's plausible. I, I'm not going I'm not saying aliens no, 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 are I mean, not plausible. I mean, there's an explanation for like everything. It. And if you're going to look at it, like, whether people, like, can you die in, like, nine inches of water or whether aliens exist, there's got to be a plausible reason of how you can die in nine it inches of water and there's got to be a reason... It can happen before to happen now. Yeah. Like, we will go into the Roswell experience. Is that what you want me to do? We will go into it. You want me to dig to the Roswell experience? We will go into Roswell. Because I can find... I think I've got We will cover Roswell. And we'll cover, we'll cover Area 51. Slash 2, slash 3, slash 5. Also, you, there is the UK's um, alien area, which not many people would know, but it's called Rudlow Manor. It's actually abandoned, and if you get close enough to it, you are actually followed by police officers, and it is constantly secured despite being abandoned. Because allegedly they're holding UFO material in there, and they don't know to that. Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> but then every country's got that. Yeah, that's fine. You know, every country's. But got what? This something. is the this is the thing, right? If aliens yeah. didn't exist, why are they protecting so much? Okay. <laughs> Think of how much money mm. the economy is getting for people getting on planes, like buying merchandise. Right. Yeah, but there's not a lot because if the government keeps shutting it down, they keep saying, look, yes, there's no aliens. But the right? thing is, you can say, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't yeah. do that. Yeah. You're going to make people want to do that. Well, you know, they stormed I, I, Roswell. I, I, they stormed Area 51. Mm. And they didn't really storm it. They but didn't really what, storm it. They didn't I'm, really get it. No. But what I'm getting at is... But like, they, they, they made, made a threat. Yeah. So the, the military then had to step in to go, oh, shit. Like, they might actually realise that maybe there's nothing here. Or maybe they realise no, 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 that there's, there's something here. Put it this way, right? Think about it from a government's perspective. Mm. Right? Think about it from this, right? They don't want people intruding in their shit. Mm. No one does, right? No one wants people knowing anything about anything that goes on in this world. So you're saying they're part, like, basically passing the buck. What I'm basically saying is they will cover up everything with something so stupid and make people believe it mm. and for them to hold well for them to have places hold all the cards. yeah for them to have places which have so much security and they won't let anyone in they won't get anyone close enough they're hiding something and they can't hide it because the things that they're hiding would blow everyone's mind mm. so you think they're hiding it in plain sight <sighs> i reckon so i won't i won't Interesting. I, well, area of, area if you 51, think that, if like you area think 51 has been decommissioned. Stuff. Yeah. It's been decommissioned that apparently there's nothing there. Mm. Well, that's maybe what they want you to believe. Mm. Right? But area 
Area 51 held information about the Roswell experience. Yeah. And it also held information of, and other people have come forward. Yeah, they, saying, they have said that it's, saying that it's they were holding the UFOs. Yeah, they're saying that they work there. They're risking their life by exposing certain things. They no longer can like leave the house properly without being followed. Mm. Like to me, I'm instantly thinking like you're doing too much. If there was no such thing as aliens, you were doing too much in terms of cover up. If I worked for the Maybe government, they're getting too unbelievable. Yeah, but if I worked for the government. And someone said to me, look, you've got people out there. They all believe in aliens. They all want, like, aliens. They want a, they want evidence, right? And you if would I, give them something. If I worked for the government, I would deny it. I would lock them up. I would literally just keep them at bay. Mm. Especially if I knew what the government knew. Mm. So to me, to think that that V formation, the Phoenix Lights, Area 51, mm. all this, it's plausible. It is so plausible. Mm. And then they cover it up with military style techniques. Because everyone knows the military do have technology that they haven't exposed. Yeah. So if it, like say you asked me, you were like, so uh them lights in the sky and I work for the military, I'd be like, oh yeah, we were testing out some new equipment. You're gonna believe that more than me saying we don't know what it was. Mm. You're gonna be like, What do you mean you don't know what like you'd ask yeah, me you're a million question. Question. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're what asking me a million what? questions, but for me to give you an answer like, Oh, we're testing out military equipment you like, oh, you'd be like, no. oh, okay. oh, well, that explains well, it. Explain yeah, it. yeah, yeah. You're gonna drop it. Yeah. Yeah, you you wouldn't push it any further. No. You'd be like, oh, okay, it's military stuff. I don't know nothing about that. Mm. So for them to keep saying military, oh, it's this, oh, it's that, they wouldn't need to make half of their budget they get a year, <laughs> and go, hang on, we need to push some more threat detection because, you know, gradually, mm. you watch, gradually, the world's probably gonna get like invaded. You know, our flat earth is going to be invaded by loads of little flat earths. They're going to play chess with countries. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like Germany, take over England for once. Olé! <laughs> Checkmate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Russia's but, in. <laughs> exactly. But for me to think aliens exist mm. is more plausible than me taking for granted the government doing stuff. Mm. I'd much rather believe aliens existed rather than listen to the government going, oh, we're testing out new machines. We were testing out new planes. Mm. I mean, I'm pretty sure like the people that were watching this might even leave comments below and be like, oh no, it's definitely something weird. I mean, there is one video footage. The rest of all the other footage has been taken down. Mm. I mean, you can view the 10 o'clock lights, but the 6 o'clock ones you can't. But there's one bit of footage you can still find on YouTube. And it clearly shows a formation. And you can clearly see the triangle. You know, like the dairy leaf slices. <laughs> yeah. It's that, but you can see it moving. <laughs> it's a John and Derry <laughs> That's probably <laughs> what it is. That's why they say that the moon's made out of cheese. And that, that could be it. The aliens are too. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, like, oh, I would be... That's what the cheese nibbles are. That's possible. Yeah, they are out of this world. Cuticles. <laughs> oh, I think you've ruined the episode. <laughs> but, like I said, there was no planes on the first sighting. Mm. It was a second sighting. Mm. And then... The witness came forward and said that these orb-like lights followed the military personnel, and even they agreed it followed them. Mm. Yeah, but that's the thing. They agree to some stuff, and I swear they get in trouble, so then they really no, change uh, their statement. Yeah. And for me, that's weird, because like, if you work for the military, if you work for the government, you should know what you're allowed to say and what you're not allowed to say. And then for someone high up yeah, in but the then power, you've got that you've got that slip of the tongue kind of thing. You've got that oh maybe I should. Mate, they've been doing this job for years. They know what to say. Mm. But for them to walk out there and go, yes, it, it was a UFO. We've never seen anything like this before. To then retract their statement, retract their statement, like, oh, and go a training actually, exercise actually it was a training exercise. Yeah, kind it's, of thing. A, it's all classified, so I couldn't really say anything back then. But I just made something out of something. But now we can, despite how many people still have seen this. Like, I want people's, like, reactions. Yeah, please leave your opinion below. Yeah, I want people's like, reaction from, like, Arizona that lived there at the time. I mean, I was, what, nine, did I say? Yeah, I was nine. I was nine, you were six. Seven. Seven. Yeah, seven. Yeah. So I was nine, he was seven, when this happened. No, and I was six. So there you go. Yeah, I was six. Get it right. Cool. So I was nine, he was six, and, like I said, I want someone to come forward and say what they saw. Because or if, if you know anyone yeah. that was that was at that time like a mum or an aunt or a dad or 
Yeah. And Paul. I mean, for us to go, okay, it was it was aliens. It it, it I don't know. To without me, without actually, without actually talking to someone that's seen it. Yeah. We're only going, we're going by, by accounts. On, we're, yeah. we're going by accounts and facts. And, well, that we think are facts. Well, it's been heavily documented. Mm. But that's what I mean. It's been heavily documented. It's been do- too it's heavily documented. Because it happened. What it is. Thousands of people saw it. That's what I mean. And it- then they cover it up. They hide it. Something happened that night. Mm-hmm. Something happened that night. Military went into panic mode and was like, fuck, we need to do something which could be similar to that. What is it? Two and a half hours later, they dropped flares. Mm. And then was like, oh, look, there's another set. Let's forget about the first set. Yeah. There's nine now. <laughs> <laughs> They're multiplying. <laughs> They're like bunnies. <laughs> They're multiplying in space. <laughs> but for now, it's... It's unsettled. It is. I'm still torn. I reckon it was aliens. The government do shady shit. They do do, they do, do shady shit. They do. So yeah, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll be back with our, what, 10? Number 10. Number 10, our season finale. Mm, which could be controversial. Could be. <laughs>